banana peppers. I hope you guys had a happy, safe, sassy 4th of July. I feel so bad this year because it was like the first year, I think in seven years, I think the last seven years, I've been making like a fireworks haul and then doing a fireworks show or at least doing like some kind of 4th of July special. But this year, like every, well not every year, but like the past couple of years, it's just been like kind of raining some on the 4th of July, but yesterday was just an absolute utter mess. And then my aunt and uncle that I normally film the haul video at, you know, that like outdoor, that really cool, like kind of like sunroom where I normally like set up all the fireworks on that table and then like talk about them all. Um, they were actually out of town this year. So I didn't even like have a hundred percent good place to film it at. I don't know. It was just a mess. It was a mess. I still feel bad about it. I'm trying to open this ramyun so that I can get some liquid refreshment. And today we're finally going to do another unboxing. I know a lot of you guys have been missing like the traditional types of like vinyl um, unboxing. It has been a ridiculously long time since I've done one of those, one of those videos on this channel. That's what I'm trying to say. And I am excited as excited could be for this one today because it is a Basquiat collection. I'm trying to open the plastic because I feel like you guys can't even really see the designs because I'm picking up a glare. I'm trying to film like in a county away from that bright light. I know that I talk a lot on this channel about like constantly feeling blinded by the bright lights, but you guys, I feel like, I feel like it's gotten really bad. Like I feel like I am, I, I joke about it a lot. It's not a very funny joke that I'm probably like causing myself retinal damage by sitting in front of like super bright lights like every single day for hours, every single day. But I'm like, Think about your eyes, it's not funny. Um, anyway, super excited for these Basquiat Dunnies. I love Basquiat. I don't know if these are caffeinated or not. There we go. Ooh, that was like a crazy fizzy marble. I don't know if these are caffeinated. It says that it's carbonated, but is it caffeinated? Carbonated water, sugar, natural flavor. This says, they, they say, I cannot talk today. Today is going to be tongue-tied central. Uh, they say that the natural flavor is lemon. People are always asking me what these taste like and all I can say is Ramune. I don't know what the, it doesn't like, ha it has its own flavor to me. Um, and I wouldn't say it tastes like lemon. That's so weird. Now I'm trying to taste lemon. Also look at these blotter sheets. I'm gonna blot some oil off my face right now because my skin, it's summertime. That means I'm oilier than usual. But look at these. These are part of the Milky Holica Holica uh, collab. And I don't think I've ever seen a cuter oil blotting sheet. It looks like the Milky Candy wrappers, if you guys have ever had that candy. And they're quite effective for taking oil off your face. I feel like I'm like so shiny. Shine bright like a diamond. I don't think that's what anybody meant by that. I don't think they just meant like piles of face grease. <laughs> Sell that on eBay. I think that we have 24. I feel like we always have 24. And then every single time I'm like, how many is in this? Like 24, there's always 24. Um, and so uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to dig in. It's been a long time, unfortunately, since I've gotten to see any Andy Warhol art or any Basquiat art. I feel like for a while they were kind of like traveling a lot, or maybe I was traveling. Um, and so I was going to like different museums. Um, but it's, it's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I've seen any art at all. Uh, but I'm excited to get into these and I just want to stop talking because I'm so tongue-tied today. I can't believe we're five minutes in. Let's hope I can actually like edit this down a little bit, but let's see. Ooh, I love the dinosaur. What is the chase figure? Oh, it's like this, um, ooh, there's like a solid black one. Why does that appeal to me? That's only one out of every 48. This guy down here that's like gray is one out of every 48. Oh, okay, this is the uh, chase. That's like question, question, out of question, question. And um, let's just see. Let's see what we're gonna get in here. Um, 
I kind of do wish that they would have made them in tins like they did the Andy Warhol ones. There was some that came in soup cans and some that came in like Brillo pad tins. And I do always love when they come with kind of, oh wow, that, that did not work. Um, I do always love when they come with like a recyclable element because I've definitely used the soup cans to hold like pens and pencils and all of that. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, okay, never mind. This is not the Chase. I thought I pulled the solid black one out already and I was like, what? Um, but this one is the Sugar Ray Robinson one and this is one out of every 24. They have a really nice, like, minimalistic look to them. And then they say Basquiat on the back. So far, so good. I use the little Brillo tins. I've used some to hold like safety pins, some to hold bobby pins, um, but but those were really nice. But unfortunately, like the cardboard, all you can do is recycle it. I mean, like actually recycle it, not like recycle, recycle. I'm just gibbering today. Uh, who did we get next? Ooh, we got the gold one and it says King Pleasure on it. And I was honestly surprised when I saw this metallic one that it was not the chase. Um, that's crazy. Or is it? No. Oh, wow. <gasps> Even more confusing. Okay, you guys, this is one of the more rare. When I just showed this to you, I thought it was going to be a gray color, but I guess it's gold. I thought that this one was the gold one. Um, does not look a lot. I don't know, but he's gold. But that's the only one I see on the box that says King Pleasure. So I think that that must be it. Let's open it up and see who we get in box number three. We get, oh, what? This is the gold one. Wow. Why am I so impressed about this? This is like a mirrored gold one. And I think, is Ideal a logo? I feel like, uh, I feel like it is, but I can't think of it right now. I feel like it's also like reflecting off the camera. So you guys are just seeing a glare right now. But that's crazy how one is like a muted metallic gold. I thought that this one was like really metallic until I saw this one and I was like, whoa. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of this museum. I know I sound so stupid right now, but a million years ago, Dogman and I went to, it's like the big like national museums, but it's not the Smithsonian because isn't that in New York? Like I'm trying to think about, like they have so many like big museums in the Washington DC area. And that was one of the places that I saw. Whoa, it's another solid gold one. Okay. So this one, some kind of weird stuff is going on right now, you guys. I don't know what's going on because I did not think we were going to see this one again because it does say one out of every 24. <laughs> and usually we don't have like duplicates in a case that's like, that comes to me like factory sealed. But here's two out of every 24. What's going on? Um, anyway, big giant museum in Washington DC area that has a lot of fine art. And I wanna say it was even like one solely dedicated to modern art. I'm kind of sad when I think about it because Dogman and I used to go to museums constantly, all the time. Like if ever we traveled to like any city, we were always going to a museum. Um, I feel like we used to go to the Museum of Fine Arts a lot in Houston. Um, but we, I don't know, we just kind of haven't been in forever and I'll tell you guys why. It's because I feel like our favorite museum ever uh, closed down and that was a little, look at this one with an eye. This one's so cool. Okay, this is one out of every 24 and I really like this one. It kind of has like a chalkboard look to it. So cool. Anyway, our favorite museum ever closed down and it was a little like satellite museum. They had just special exhibits inside of it. They would only have like one or two rotating exhibits at a time. And it used to be on South Congress in Austin. And it was like a separate 
miniature modern art building but we saw so many cool exhibits there and I feel like we discovered like a lot of new artists that we really liked like that's where I first discovered Christo and Jean-Claude if you do not know their art you've got to look them up um they like wrap whole islands and bridges and buildings with fabric it's amazing it's incredible um and so I don't know I feel like I was just kind of like so sad about that that I just like stopped museuming on a whole but we we've, we've seen some pretty cool exhibits um in real life this little guy is two out of every 24 and he's playing a trumpet I love that I remember my favorite Basquiat piece that I ever saw in person was called Ghost Door and it was just like a door and it said like ghost door on it it's, that that I have not seen that piece in like a million years I feel like I should like look it up or try and insert a picture if I can find one I feel like there used to be so much more like little art stuff going on than there is now like I remember one time there was this whole collection that came in which you could actually buy and I'm like who is out here buying Andy Warhol paintings like how is that like oh yeah I'll just uh pick up a soda right here and then I'll pick up a Warhol right there um just I don't know it see it seems so weird because it was not like an art auction it was like an art sale and I was like okay uh but it was really cool to see it because it was set up like a small um museum exhibit and I want to say that this was like at a gallery that just like sold like clothing and accessories and it was like kind of in a weird part of town in Austin like not weird but just not one that I visit often um and so that was a lot of fun and I know everything I'm saying right now just sounds like a bunch of probably like not detailed um scrambled mess I think that this one is going to be my favorite from the whole collection I really love this design and um one out of every 24. I feel like I'm saying design because somebody recently did a Basquiat collection and it was like all of these like art pieces turned into like skirts and tank tops and dresses and <sighs> it's gonna drive me crazy I only have like half of my memories intact today I'm like remembering half of all of these stories you guys I feel like I kind of lose my mind when I'm not like filming as regularly I feel like it's like almost like I'm not like talking enough out loud to like practice talking does that make any sense like nothing I'm saying makes any sense but I feel like if days go by where I'm just like deep in the editing machine and I'm not really like going out and doing things and like being very like conversational and like talking a lot then I almost just become like utterly mute and I forget how to like structure sentences and speak out loud it's an amazing thing that happens Ooh, I really love this one as well this really does look uh, like one that maybe I've seen in person before. I love all of this black and white stuff. It just looks so cool to me. Um, so this one is, what do we got going on here? One out of every 24. It's so crazy. I feel like I feel like there's no more designs like represented. I feel like it's normally like two full panels of designs, but I feel like every single one we've looked at today is one out of every 24. So I'm like, they didn't make like more designs for this one where it would be like 24 different ones. I'm almost starting to wonder if like some of this box is like a misprint. Cause it's so, normally there's at least like one, like three out of 24, I think. And there's none like that. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just out of practice of doing unboxings, I guess. Um, let's see what this one is. Oh, it's our little trumpet guy again. So maybe it is right. Cause he was two out of every 24 and here he is again. Um, how is you guys' July? Are you enjoying it so far? Is it too hot for you? I know that maybe it's like not as hot there as it gets here. The other day, like the temperature was reading out like 101, but they were saying it felt like 107. It was like very crispy hot. And then the past couple of days we've just had rain, but like hot rain, like not, not refreshing rain at all. Um, so here is this little guy. And this actually looks identical pretty much to the actual box packaging. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoy how these are like 
all over different prints if that makes sense like the front and the back don't match that's what i'm trying to say in quotations um okay that guy is two out of every 24 so we might be seeing him again i can't believe we're almost done with our first top tray we only have one left after this and we've got ooh, <gasps> yay okay this is the one that I was really hoping for and we might see him again because he is two out of every 24 but this is my favorite I feel like I just wore this shirt not long ago I like how the tail wraps all the way around but I got this shirt when we were um hanging out in Washington DC and Virginia and I've had it forever and I just recently found it like sometime last year during the moving process and I started to wear it again and now I haven't seen it in a while. It must be just down in the laundry room. Uh, okay. Oh, oh no. Are they going to start repeating back to back? Here is our second little, I almost said Dracula guy. Where is my mind today? Dinosaur. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, there is our second one. We should not see him again. And you guys, we are already down to the bottom of the box. I don't know if you guys can tell. I took a picture of this the other day on Snapchat with the flash and it was so cool it looked kind of like iridescent it's not doing it today so it's just one more statement in a long line of statements today that makes me look totally like a crazy person uh let's open this box which ones are we gonna get i really hope that we get the chase chase figure um perhaps by process of elimination because i think i was being like super silly I don't think it's just a solid black one I think it's just a total mystery it's been way too long since I've opened these um so this one is two out of every 24 and it just has Basquiat's crown logo but you guys I am really loving how these ones have like a vinyl kind of appearance to them which I feel like is really rare or am I having a severe memory lapse? Because before we got these, really the only one that I can distinctly remember, because I remember still being blown away by this one, which was the Chase figure for the Insect Labbits. And this was the Black Widow. And I remember I loved him so much because I was like, whoa, I'd never seen like a solid, like really vinyl feeling one, you know, because most of them are matte like this how crazy all right next box i also wonder if i'm getting kind of brain dead because i have been exercising so much every single night uh the last time i saw you guys i was eating a bowl of fruit and i was trying my hardest to eat healthier and be healthier um but i think i need a trainer i don't i don't know if i'm doing it right also i feel like i'm like really impatient so i'm like i've exercised for three days in a row why don't i see results it's just like the most craziest thoughts ever um okay you guys i'm gonna start grabbing from a different portion of the box because this is our second time now to get a duplicate back to back but this one was two out of every 24 so we should not see him again all right i'm i'm gonna pick one from this corner way up here and hopefully it will be something different Let's see what the chase looks like. That would be so cool. Um, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm just like tearing up the boxes so badly this time. Um, okay, who next are we gonna get? Ooh, uh, it's a green one. Oh my gosh. That's boy removing flea from dog boy removing fleas from dog i'm gonna be completely honest and say i've never seen this piece before but i'm loving it it's so weird it's so random and it's green one out of every 24. why do i want do i take its head off I've never had another one that rattles. See all these quiet. Is there like a flea in there? I'm gonna do it. I've never popped one's head off before. Dude, I just open it and a flea just pops out. I'm gonna go get Dogman to do it because it's gonna drive me crazy now. There's like a diamond inside. That's gonna be one of life's unsolved mysteries because I was having Dogman try and like take it off. Because I swear we've like accidentally like popped the heads off before and 
like snapped him back on. But look, when he was trying to take this one's head off, like the vinyl started to tear. And then I felt sad for being destructive. So I was like, no, stop, wait. Um, so it's just one of life's mysteries. I feel like we need to like put the unsolved mysteries theme in here. Um, I can't, I can't break it though. I'd feel so guilty. Um, all right, up next, who are we gonna get? Oh, we got, oh yay. I really liked the design of this one as well. Uh, um, it has the crowns all over and then the logo on the back. I think this one is two, yes, no. Yeah, two out of every 24, as was this one. Two out of every 24. I think that these like look so well together. So cool. Um, okay. Oh my God, I thought that that one had something in it too and I was like, I'm going crazy. Um, okay, opening, ooh. I did a number on that box. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh no, I'm like, got my fingers stuck in this box. There we go. All right. Let's see, what are we gonna get now? We are gonna get oh, another repeat, right back to back again, all over crowns, once again. I wish that there was a series where there was just 24 different figures, but then I guess that would like be probably impossible to collect all of the different variants. I don't know if people would think that that's really cool because there would be less of a chance of you ever getting a duplicate or if they would be really irritated because the point is honestly to get the whole like collection. Um, I love this one because I think it's supposed to be a coin. It says Liberty on it and it looks like, I mean, it looks like a coin to me. There we go. A little focusing is all it takes. And then look at that. I really like the face on the back as well. So cool. Okay, this little guy is two out of every 24. So we might be seeing it again. You guys, are we gonna get the chase figure? Smash that like if you think we're gonna get it. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only YouTuber in the world that can't think of like a crafty way to be like, smash that like button. Ah, I keep getting the duplicates back to back now. Oh my gosh, it's another Liberty coin one. There we go. Um, okay, we only have five left, including this one. So after this one, only four left. Um, let's see who we're gonna get. Ooh, that was like a really good open. What? Oh, okay, we got another. Oh, love is a lie. Lover equals liar. Lovely, lovely little thoughts from our friend Basquiat here. Oh, that's definitely one of the big chase figures. So this is the complete chase, which is question mark, question mark, out of question mark, question mark. It I, like when I first opened it, I'm not gonna lie, cause I always have like Halloween on the brain. So I was like, it's a mummy, but it's not a mummy. It's a notebook paper with sad love sentiments written on it. But not everyone's a fan of love. What can I say? Um, oh my gosh. Sometimes I wonder like, would Andy Warhol still be alive today? Would that be possible? I don't want to get into the whole medical conversation. It does kind of trigger my anxiety just a little bit, but I'm like, oh, why didn't he go to the doctor? Um, just Google Andy Warhol if you want to know what I'm talking about. Why do I start this today? I'm just like, just give you guys half of the thought. Don't finish the other thought or just come up with the end of the thought and don't tell you guys the beginning of the story. I'm doing real good today. Two out of every 24 for this lovely blue one. And it says, I don't, are these keep frozen? I wish you guys could see like the text and stuff on here a lot more. I kind of feel like these are ones that you have to see in person to like read all the little fine words. And then it's got like a penguin with flames on the back. I'm loving it. I always say I'm loving it. I need to come up with like new, fresh and fun catchphrases. Um, I'm not loving it. That's not a good one either. Uh, okay, three more, including this one. I just opened it completely non-effectively, effectively. Ah, oh, it's the same one again, you guys. <clears throat> Another one, just like this one, why? Why? Okay, 
not that big of a deal. Um, let's see what's going to be in our final two. I feel like I got through these really fast today, but kind of not really because my last clip was already 21 minutes in length. So that's already a pretty long video. Um, okay. Ooh, this one like felt smaller than usual. I feel like this is like, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going completely crazy. This is like, well, that one's ripped. I'm trying to find like a kind of intact bag. Am I just having like a moment? I felt like this was like such a larger bag than what we normally see. Oh, you know what? It's because it barely has a seal on the top. That's why. There's like normally like a seal to down here. Sometimes it's the littlest things that just fill me with such fascination and curiosity. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got a weird box. Look at this. This is so crazy. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Um, because look at this. Never in my life have I ever gotten two chase figures. Normally it's like hard enough to get one. But this is the same one, right? Love is a lie. Love is a lie. Lover equals liar. That's so crazy. So you guys, this definitely was like a funky case. I'm excited to see what the last one is gonna be. We're just gonna see what the last one is, but this is blowing my mind. Like this is the most rare chase figure that's like out of question mark, question mark, which I think means it's at least like out of every 70 or something. So it's definitely like a harder one to get. Um, and then we got two of the gold ones when we were only supposed to get one. Oh my gosh. So we got the second one, the second repeat of this one. So that's pretty crazy, you guys, because I think that maybe that means we're going to be missing one that we should have gotten. So we didn't get this complete mystery one, which I think is just a complete mystery and not just completely just like plain black with no logo or anything on it at all. Um, and we didn't get this one, which was white vinyl with um, crowns all over it. We got this one instead, which is the black variant. And then we did not get um, this one, which was the building one. We are still missing three designs from the collection. But that's so crazy. I can't, I've never had a case in all my life, in all my years of unboxings, go as weird as this. So two of these that we weren't, definitely were not supposed to get in one case. And then two of these guys, when we were only supposed to get one of the super gold metallic that says ideal on the front. This is a weird unboxing. We got twins today, you guys. That's that's the theme of today's unboxing. Twins. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for coming out. Uh, coming out. Thanks for coming out today. Thanks for coming all the way from wherever you came today to click on this video on the internet. I'm going to try and be less tongue-tied tomorrow. I'm going to try and float back down to planet Earth uh, and film a better video for you guys. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be the weather or my allergies or something. I'm sure you guys just love to hear about the weather, my allergies and the lighting every time I turn this camera on. I don't know if any of you guys are like this, the further into adulthood that you get, but I used to always have terrible um, spring and fall allergies and I don't really have any in either of those seasons now, but summer is the month that it comes for me every summer. I just feel like so gross. I don't know why. And it's hot too. So it's kind of like, ugh, like you just kind of feel like not so great. And the sun is cooking your skin. So it's kind of it's an interesting thing that happens every summer. But thanks for coming out today, you guys. I kind of feel like that should be my outro for this channel. If you're not already, um, hit subscribe, become a banana or a pepper, whichever, or a banana pepper. Just do you have both brewing inside of you, both bananas and peppers? Um, anyway, I hope to see you guys again on this channel tomorrow. I'm kind of tempted to just film another video right now. I have a Doki Doki crate and for some reason I'm dying to open it. I don't know why. Uh, so we'll see. But I love you guys and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye!